in the two Champions League semi-finals. Uh, only half time in them. Uh, Tottenham trailing Ajax by uh, a goal to nil, and Barcelona three nil up uh, on Liverpool after tonight's uh, first leg uh, in the new camp. Uh, a goal by Donny van de Beek has Ajax in pole position in the other tie. Um, after Liverpool tonight, maybe Tottenham aren't in such a bad situation after all. Well, you'd rather be them than Liverpool, mm. wouldn't you? Um, didn't turn up in the first half, Brian's team. <laughs> but Brian's team did turn up in the second half. Yeah. <laughs> Over to you, our Spurs correspondent. You must have been on the blower, were you, Brian? Um, does the second half last night give them enough hope uh, to go to Amsterdam and get a result? Well, it gives them a bit of a chance. The fact that they didn't concede any more goals and they were in the game and they were able to bully Ajax a little bit in the second half with a bit more physicality around midfield. But they have to have, they have, to have Son back. Obviously, he's not suspended, but they could do with having another player or two around midfield. And now it doesn't look like um, Vertonghen is going to... Mm. Depending on how all that works out with the concussion, he may not be available. They have to rely on Sanchez and Tongan. But Ajax were superb in the first half of the match. They made more clear-cut chances. Spurs need... Um, they need Ericsson to have more influence on the game and Deli Ali, the balance in the midfield with Wanyama, Eriksson and Ali wasn't good enough for all last night. When Sissoko came in, they looked a bit more of a team. Laurenti, poor up front, um, holds the ball up reasonably well at times, win, wins the odd header. But he's not quick enough on his feet yeah. and he doesn't make space to make chances. Quality. In this level, semi final of Champions League, quality. Ajax had, quality. had loads of quality, uh, Graham. I mean, we, we're going to see Van der Beek's goal here. I mean, look, it, it was looking really bleak for Tottenham in the first half hour of this Yeah, they could, they could have found themselves 3 0 down. I mean, it's a lovely movement. Watch Van der Beek here get out a tight area. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then it goes out there. He, watch, he puts his arm up here, he thinks he wants a cross, it doesn't come, so he, he starts to walk out, readjust his position. And then Zayek, the ball ends up with Zayek here. And watch, he opens his body out. Danny Rose is too wide, he should move a bit closer to prevent that ball. But when he gets there, the beak, he's got, he, he has two stutters, he's got that much time here. Watch, he puts his arm up, starts to drift out again. Zayek ends with the ball here. Danny Rose nearly gets it. It should have been like a yard closer preventing that and, and, and yeah, but, everything uh, happening outside but, but, of him. Ali, Ali runs to the wrong player. You know, Ali I would comes... Have been, it would have been nice the, if they brought him on at some time, that Ali. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, he yeah, didn't play. You know, he, do, he just... He makes a, a, a bad move and runs out and com leaves a man completely free to play the pass in. I, I think he's just unreliable as, as in midfield as a defensive player. <clears throat> and Sorry, at this stage of his career... I think you said last night, what has he done in the past couple of seasons? In two, in two seasons. You're right. But mm -hmm. I can't understand how he hasn't taken on board, if you're playing in midfield, whether it's in a two or a three yeah. or whatever, that you've got to match somebody off the, other, off, the, off the opposition when they're running into the box. 